But right now, the player who is celebrating is Dimitri Kolars after his Armageddon win against Ali Reza Firuja. Congratulations, Dimitri. Thank you. Yeah. What a tremendous, exciting match it was to watch. Just an absolute delight. And I want to ask you, uh, this is your debut in Division 1. You take down the world number four. Sum up this uh, roller coaster of a day that you had. Yeah, I don't know if I can sum it up now. Uh, it was even more exciting to play than, than to watch, probably. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel like I should have lost the match, probably, but uh, I made so many mistakes. I mean, the first game I just blundered, and I can't even remember all the games, but yeah, somehow probably had, had an off day, but okay, I also found some practical chances, I think, sometimes. But yeah, the last game, I mean, the last game, the fourth game was, yeah, also not great. I thought that was probably it, but but then he was bidding so low in the Armageddon. <laughs> I didn't didn't expect eight minutes. Uh, I don't know, maybe <laughs> maybe this is normal. I don't have any experience with this, but uh, yeah, I thought this is not much. And yeah, somehow I got got chances in the game, and yeah, worked out. Out of the five games that you played today, Dimitri, you won three. All of them were decisive. It was an amazing match to watch. And you mentioned the Armageddon that you thought that Ali Reza bid perhaps a little bit too low. When he played the Berlin, what was your thought and what was your approach at that moment? Yeah, I had prepared this a bit for, before the match because, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. He could play the Berlin. I was expecting the Petrov, of course, because he played it earlier. It's also solid. Um, but yeah, I just just played what I prepared and and hoped. I was a bit uh, surprised by his line with uh, an IT8 uh, instead of rookie eight. Yeah, I mean this is at least slightly more pleasant to play maybe when I get D5. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Um, also, the position is uh, not so difficult to play. How many pieces on the board? I thought probably I won't get many chances, but maybe I can flag him in the end or something. But yeah, somehow, somehow the game went, went well. Yeah. Oh, an amazing day of chess there, Dimitri. And I have to ask you, as your debut in Division 1, uh, what's your ambition in this tournament and just your thoughts on the Chess Kid Cup? Yeah, I didn't, didn't have any ambition. I thought uh, I'd be here for two days and then, <laughs> then I'll start watching. But uh, <laughs> now, now I have to uh, play a bit longer. Yeah. I also have to switch some 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 plans now, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just exciting to play. Um, yeah, Imagine of course, something was... completely new for me. Normally, I don't get 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 these uh, these opponents. Not sure who, my, who, my, who I'm playing tomorrow, but uh, yeah, still can't speak apparently. But yeah. Um, <laughs> And do you think that's the special part of this year's Champions Chess Tour? The format with the planes, it gives the opportunity for strong grandmasters like yourself to compete against the world's best? Yeah, this is something very interesting about it, yeah. I mean, I'm not, not the only one who qualified from this rating range. Uh, yeah, I think that's very interesting to have the top players against some slightly lower rated ones. Uh, and yeah, apparently it's... It can also be exciting. Yeah. I thought probably I, I won't have a chance today, but yeah, <laughs> somehow I had. Wow. Well, Dimitri, it was an amazing start by you and a super fun match to watch for all of us here uh, doing commentary as well as for the chess fans. And we wish you all the best uh, here at the Chess Kid Cup. Thank you. <laughs>